Here's adventure. Here's romance. Here's O. Henry's famous Robin Hood of the Old West, the Cisco Kid. Pick him up. Marge. I thought this place was out of bounds. Did your uncle know you're here? Well, I hope not. I just strayed away from the ranch, and the first thing I knew, here I was. How are you getting along? Oh, slow. This place is going to need a lot of work. All I need now is another pair of hands. Well, what's the matter with these? Marge, you know how I feel. Uh-oh, here comes trouble. Hello, Mr. Lacey. I told you you weren't to see him again. I'm sorry, Uncle Jim, but I happen to be in love with him. And I'm afraid there's nothing you can do about it. There's plenty I can do, and I will. It's for you, Ryan. If I ever catch you talking to my niece again, I'll beat you with an inch of your life. I wouldn't try it, Mr. Lacey. I might forget that you're twice my age. And I might also remember what you did to my father. You're just like your father. He couldn't keep his hands off of other people's property. If you ever say that about my father again, I'll kill you. Get on your horse, Marge. I'll catch up with you later. Bill, you shouldn't have said that. No, I guess not. He's right about you, though. As long as you're under his roof. What's wrong with your roof? It leaks. Oh, can't you see, Marge? I can't ask you to give up everything you have just for a hand-to-mouth existence. I wish you'd stop being so noble. Sit down. You still want to be foreman of the Lacey Ranch? Well, sure, Sam. You know that. What about Stephen? Oh, I think a change can be made. Old man Lacey was in this morning. He seemed quite perturbed over the goings-on between his niece and young Ryan. He had me change his will. That's very interesting, but uh, how does it make me foreman? He made me executor of his estate. After he's killed, why, he's killed. Yes, that's where you come in. Now, as I was saying, after he's dead, I'll appoint you foreman to the ranch, and between us, we'll pick it as clean as a bone. That sounds great. How do I keep the sheriff off my neck? I've got that all figured out. Now, you do exactly as I say, and the sheriff will be after young Ryan instead of you. Yeah, nothing like having a lawyer for a partner. That's right.
you threatened to kill Lacey. Maybe I did. You know how you say things when you lose your temper. How do you account for your branding iron being found beside the body? Well, I don't know, unless the killer left it there to incriminate me. Or you dropped it by accident. But I tell you, I didn't kill him. Well, the circuit judge will have to decide that. You're under arrest. Get on your horse. Did you see a young fellow right past here just a few minutes ago? No, sir. We saw nobody pass here. Well, if you happen to run into him, why, look out. He's a killer. Mm. Help! Cisco, for once, the sheriff ain't looking for us, eh? <laughs> hey, what's that? Shh. Where are we going, Cisco? Quick! Hey, it's the killer, Cisco. The one the sheriff is looking for. Please, I... I'm not a killer. I... Help me, Pancho. The next thing I knew, the sheriff came to arrest me. Did this Lacey have other enemies? I don't know. He was a cantankerous old goat, but... I don't know of anybody who hated him enough to kill him. Hmm. Except you, maybe, eh? I suppose I am the logical suspect. I can't blame you for not believing me. But we do believe you. We do? You stay here out of sight. Pancho and I will see what we can find out. Come on, Pancho. Miss Lacey? Yes? We are friends of Bill Ryan. My name is Cisco. This is my good friend, Pancho. Won't you come in? Here we are in. Well, won't you sit down? Thank you. Well, sit down, please. Where is Bill? Is he all right? He is safe. But it looks very much like someone has framed Bill. Do you know who he could be? Well, everyone liked Bill except my uncle. And he resented him because of an old feud he had with Bill's father. Is there anything that you can tell us that might give us a lead? Well, this may not have any bearing, but a very strange thing happened. When Mr. Foster, uncle's attorney, took over the estate as executor, he fired our foreman and several others who had been on the ranch for years. Huh. That is a very strange way for this executor to act. You know, maybe you have given us a lead. <laughs> a lead into more and bigger trouble, I think. down by the river. Did you catch your fish? Nope, still angling. You know, I, uh, I got an idea that Ryan might try to sneak back here to see you. Why, that foolish, he wouldn't dare. Well, you can't tell. It's easy to find out, Sheriff. Why don't you look? That's what I had in mind. All right with you, Miss Marge? Why, well, of course. Then I show you around, huh? Come with me. Just speaking, the shed is a good place to hide. Yeah, so was the house. Yes, we'll look there first. Shall I go with you? Better stay here.
You boys go around the back. <laughs> All these chases of the wild gooses is funny, ain't it, Cisco? <laughs> we will return in just a moment with the climax of our exciting adventure of the Cisco Kid. Marge. Marge, it's me, Bill. 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 Please, miss. This is no time for love. Why didn't you stay under the cover like Cisco told you? I had to come back and see Marge to convince her that I didn't kill her uncle. Oh, Bill, I don't need convincing. You know that. Bill. Get back to your horse, but don't leave until I give you a signal. All right, Cisco. And wait for us at the rocks near the lake. Right. Enemy. I'm sorry, it was an accident. I just tripped. What's your trouble? Ryan, he just rode off. He must have been hiding on the shack. You should have looked there first, Sheriff. Let's go after, boys. <laughs> What's going on around here? Looks like someone has loosened the cinches of your saddles. I'll say they did. Who did it? Well, I didn't. That kind of leaves you two, doesn't it? Me? Not me. Maybe the cinches get so tired being so tight around the horse that they jiggle themselves loose. I ought to run you two in. But if I see you two around, I may still do it. Thanks, Cisco. And you too, Pancho. Say, hey, Miss Lacey, who is this man that tried to shoot Bill? The new foreman. The lawyer hired him. The new foreman? Oh, that's very interesting. We'll see you later. Come on, Pancho. Cisco, I hope you know what we are doing. We are going to do a little checking up on a certain lawyer, Pancho. Lawyers? The sheriff's is bad enough, but these lawyers are going to get us all tangled up with their rips of delicious corpuses. <laughs> you mean corpus delicti, don't you? I mean we're going to find ourselves right in the jail. <laughs> if that Cisco hadn't have bumped me, I'd have got Bill. Well, it doesn't matter. The sheriff will pick him up anyway. What about the cattle? Well, I've had him move to the lower 40. Ready to push across the state line as soon as you give the word. That'll be in a day or so when I hear from the buyer. By the time I get through with the Lacey Ranch, there won't be anything left but the buildings. Come on, let's have a drink. Hey, Cisco. You see who it is with the lawyer? Yes, Pancho. There is plenty wrong around here. You stay here, Pancho. Keep your eyes open.
senor. Have you seen my friend Cisco? I think he's lost. Yeah? Yeah, I look for him any place, but I can't find him somewhere. Maybe you help me look for him, eh? Go look for him yourself. Oh, but senor, he... Get out of my way. That was Cisco's pal. That door was shut when we left here. Anything missing? Plenty. Get some of the men. Are you sure about him, Cisco? Bill, everything seems to point that this Foster is a crook as well as a lawyer. Well, if you're right about him and the new foreman, they could rob Marge blind. Isn't there anything we can do? No, not unless we get more evidence. Hey, that's Bill. This is better than we thought. You know what to do. Pancho, that smells pretty good. run for it before they pin us down. Get to your horses. I'll keep you covered. Sorry about them getting away, Foster. Never mind about that. We gotta move and move quick. Get that cattle across the state line as soon as you can. I'll leave it to me. All right. before the sheriff did. What's happened, Marge? Well, I've lost both of my cattle to rustlers, and the sheriff thinks you three stole them. Can you manage that? Who told that big lie? I break his neck in two places. Well, it was one of my new punchers. I was in town when he rode in and told the sheriff. Hey, Bill, you know this country around here pretty well? Sure, why? What would you do if you rustled cattle? Where would you drive them? Well, I'd take them over the state line, through Devil's Pass. But then there's where we're heading for. Miss Lacey, will you do something for me? Certainly. Please tell the sheriff to pick up Foster and hold him at his office until I get there. All right. Thank you. That's G. 
Jason and the new Lacey Riders. Help! Help! Them, Pancho. I'll meet you in town. Sheriff, this is an outrage. You have no right, legal or otherwise, to detain me here. I insist upon... Hold off, Sam. I'm not detaining you. Just keeping your company until Cisco gets here. Did you find my herd, Cisco? Yes, and the wrestlers, too. You know who they were? Your foreman, Jason. And the new hands your lawyer hired. Are you insinuating that I'm behind the rustling? No one else. You can't prove it. No? A smart attorney like you should be more clever where you hide things. Sheriff, I found this bottle of ink eradicator in one of his files. This, my friend, is going to send you to the gallows. Really? I am positive. And Sheriff, take a look at this. This is a copy of Jim Lacey's will. Foster removed the name of the real executor, the banker, and substituted his own. The cattle rustling was only the first step in looting the ranch and stripping Miss Lacey of her inheritance. This is a very clever deduction, Cisco, but I'm afraid it will never be admitted as evidence. Congratulations, Mrs. Ryan. Oh, you know already, Mr. Barton. Yes, Cisco and Poncho told me about your getting married. But you understand none of the terms of your uncle's will. It's my duty as his rightful executor to cut off your allowance. I know. But being married to Bill is worth it. Well, I called you in for another reason. Bill, have you a dollar? Sure, why? Oh, give it to me. Why should I give you a dollar? Hey, do as he say. Give him the dollar. What's all this about? You see, Bill? The will provides that if Margie married you, then the executor could dispose of the property at his discretion. And after a full discussion of the matter with our mutual friend, Cisco, it's my discretion to sell you the entire estate for exactly one dollar. Oh, Cisco! Take good care of her, Bill. Oh, tamales. Let's win. Oh, Pancho. <laughs> The Cisco Kid will be back in a moment. But first, an important message. Goodbye, amigos. See you soon! 